It's a maybe right now, nothing guaranteed, but this building, the old grocery outlet near Sprague and Havana, may become a homeless shelter. The city of Spokane is exploring options right now in their attempt to cut back on the concentration of homeless services in downtown. It was a story we broke first yesterday on KXLY.com. Our Hawk Hammer continuing our coverage with reaction from neighbors now and more from the city. Hawk? Ariana, here's the sign that precipitated all of this. There's the old grocery outlet. Behind it is the neighborhood where I talked with a number of folks not thrilled about the potential of all of this. They're saying uh, they're worried their property value might go down. They're worried about safety. Some saying they might have to move if all of this goes through. They wouldn't go on camera. Others that we spoke with said uh, they're thrilled that this is happening. It's much needed. All in all, the city says if it's finalized, the shelter would help spread the concentration of homeless uh, services out of downtown. They use the example of the fact that the House of Charity was overwhelmed, sleeping upwards of 300 people each night. They also say it would help them bridge services with Spokane Valley and the county. City spokeswoman saying fighting homelessness is not a single entity problem. Though many of the neighbors were not happy about the possibility of this, as we mentioned, one we spoke with said he's on board. What does it say about us as a society if we were to have people homeless out on the streets instead of taking a building that's not even being used and being used for something that could really benefit the people that it's, it's there for? And the city says they're currently in negotiations and have toured the site. To pay for it, they would be using $1.2 million in grants, uh, but uh, documents say it would also need a million additional dollars from stakeholders. All those numbers do not take into account outfitting it or operating it. Reporting live, Hawk Hammer, KSY 4 News. Thank you, Hawk.